I started here in 1979, November 79, and what, what has happened, out of 63 shops, 46 were restaurants. And now I think we are down to 17 restaurants. Yeah. And a lot of places have been taken over by takeaways, uh, off-licensing, uh, mini-market and so on, and really they downgraded the street. Um, we lost all the conferences, there is no conferences coming to Brighton anymore, so our main trade has gone from here. And really, no, we have to do something, otherwise we are going to die. Um, it's a shadow of what it used to be, this street. I wish my business was in another street. Like, this is the worst January we had. How long have you been having Casalingos here? 30 years. 30 years. 30 years, yeah. And when did the current change, so this, this kind of change, when did that happen? I think it happened in 94, 95. Right. So now, you know, yeah. they're in a terrible state. Toomey's across there has been like this for years. Yeah. The house is supposed to be doing with the shop, something with the shop that they're doing all. Yeah. When something gets empty, they do something right away. Here, yeah. nothing has been done. Look at the poor state of the for the payment. Going down that way, then going down the other way. Reaching yeah. the middle. Yeah. 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 No, no. But they are not. You can see the water running straight down. And you can't put them out because it goes down to much like that and to much like that. So really, yeah. we got one meter where we can put the tables and chairs out yeah. and that's it. Preston Street lies in the heart of Regency Ward, which I represent. Once the heart of a restaurant trade, it's now in decline and has long been struggling, left with many vacant properties, filling up with off-licenses and cheap burger bars and takeaways. The traders have been calling for help with petitions, meetings with council cabinet members, but there's been virtually no progress. This film aims to highlight the problems they're struggling with and the ideas that we, together, can work on to turn Preston Street around. We're in Regency Square. Um, Regency Square is, um, there's a major car park here. Now of course ideally we don't want everyone to drive here, but this car park, they dug up the centre of this square, um, causing damage really to the, the nature of this square and the gardens. Um, and this car park is really underused. We could go in there right now and see it's mostly empty. Um, why not make more use of that? Uh, this is council property rather than giving NCP the profit. The disparity in parking prices between the Regency Square car park and the seafront is dramatic. So this is the seafront and um, ideally someone might come for a walk here and then they want something to eat at the end of the day or for lunch. That's right. How do they get to Preston Street is the question. How, how do they even know it's there if they haven't been here before? You don't see, do you? So here we are, this is the place. There's no signage here at all. No. On this side of the road. It's, um, it's a very busy road as well. It is a busy road. But um, also, if you can see, the only sign that is there yeah. is just after Preston Street. Yeah. And yes, it says city, city centre. And then this has been empty for a long time. It's been empty for ages, yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, this this is our little success story, isn't it? One of the only ones in Preston Street, yeah. <laughs> so. This looks much better than with the board. Yeah. The board looks terrible. And obviously upstairs they got pigeons and all sorts of things, so they got major problems. There we got Cafe International that is being boarded up, and I was talking to you last night. Yeah. And I think it's similar to this one upstairs. Yeah. We've been here for what 16, 17 years now. Yeah. Um, it's a shadow of what it used to be this street, uh, and I'm sure the council enjoys all the tax that we pay. It's a shame we're not really getting anything in return anymore and we're still working as hard as we ever did. Yeah. Uh, customers or no customers, we're still here. Yes, but it just does feel like we're being abandoned and as the days go by, we're, it feels like we're going to be the next, what, Hastings? We did used to enjoy making good money and we didn't mind paying bills now, but now at the moment we're struggling to pay bills. Up and down this street, how many, 10 to 14 premises shut down now? Yeah. It looks more like a shanty town than, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, one of the best places to come and eat in Brighton. Get many local customers. Really? Only the passing people, yeah. mainly. I see. But we get less and less passing trade as well. That's right. Yeah. And we, less and less. We have noticed that there is a lot also of... Also the passing people, you know, they normally come by car, you know. Yeah. So the main thing, they can park the car. Yeah. And the Regency Square is too expensive as well. Yeah. 
We have noticed that there is a lot of empty premises now. A lot of empty premises. Do you, you, you think do, the I360? If you can do anything. If the tower came, the I360 tower. Yeah, tower. that would help us. Yeah. That we are hoping that the, when the tower is come, yeah. then that would help us, and the you know the Brighton Centre yeah. would help us as well. With okay. conferences, yeah. That would the conference come back as well. It's not good, is it? No, everybody says more or less the same thing. Yeah. You know? And here we got another empty premise that doesn't, looks like a disaster. Yeah. Yeah. So, how, how's business at the moment? At the moment, I would say I'm here for at least around two, three years, but yeah. I think like this is the worst January we had really? so far. To be honest, I don't know how to improve the business, but obviously it needs something to be done. Yeah. Uh, when we came in, we were in a hope because there was something like the the I Tower was yes. supposed to be yeah. go on. But yeah. now, a few weeks or months before, I heard that like, it's not going to happen. One of the main thing is like there's lots of shop closed in this street. Yeah. Like this is a street where I think like a lot of tourists attracts this street supposed to because it's yeah. near the seaside. There's lots of yeah, hotels yeah, yeah, around, yeah. but when yeah. people pass by, they see a lot of closed shops and stuff like it puts them off they are quite towards the other end of Brighton because yeah. they feel like this is more or less a dead place yeah, yeah yeah so and if something can happen in this area like to just to attract the peoples maybe or something like that how will you feel if the street was all pedestrianized and people can only walk up here I honestly, yeah, that would be a good idea actually, I think so, because in that case actually we can also spread our tables around, yeah. at, at least for summer, not in yeah. the winter of course. And obviously people will know like this is a place where you can just walk around, uh, like just like a park. Uh, we've been here three years now. Okay, and how do you feel the, the, the street for businesses is at the moment? Well, I wish my business was in another street. Right, okay, <laughs> that's not great. Yeah, that's right, you know, my business is... My business is successful in spite of the street, not because of the street. I mean, I oh, what's what's the street doing that's holding you back? It's just dire. It's just it has no atmosphere. It has no life. It's it's most of it's empty. Five percent of our trade is walk past. Right. And if if you look at the demographic of who walks past, I'm, we're lucky to get that many. Right. You yeah. Know, the, the road is not a thoroughfare, especially the bottom end, which I'm in. Yeah. I mean, of, of the twenty-two properties in my end, thirteen are empty. Yeah. So it's fifty percent or more than fifty percent of my my end of the street is empty. Yeah. People just won't come to this end of the street. Yeah. It's hard enough to get them in any end of the street, but this end's even harder. So the I, I360 would be important to you? No, massively yeah. important. I think yeah. it's massively important to the city. Yeah. You know, it's, 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 a, it's a thing that everyone's looking forward to. We've lost our mantle as the, the restaurant street of Brighton. Mm. Yeah, uh, where's it gone? Of, where's it gone? It's now gone into East Street and, and into more into Central Brighton. Yeah. And some of it into Hove, actually, down Western Road Hove. There's a lot more restaurants yeah. down there than there ever used to be. Yeah. I mean, people don't want to, restaurant owners don't want to come to Preston Street, because you can see that, because they don't. Mm. They vote with their feet, yeah. you know, no one's rented, there's empty, there's plenty of empty restaurants in Preston Street, no one rents them. Yeah, yeah. So, again, yeah. It's, it's down to the image of the street. I've been in the street since, what, uh, 80, 95. Yeah. Uh, when we had the shop next door. So right. I've been around here for years. So you know the area pretty well. Pretty well. And compared to when you moved in, how do you think the people Brighton regard this street? The, the views have changed massively. I mean, 95 till about 2000, I say, were amazing. Uh, you know, the street was very, very busy. There was a lot of movements. Restaurants were doing very well. There wasn't, there wasn't any empty spaces. Um, yeah, it was fantastic. But it's changed. Yeah. Uh, I personally think it's. It needs some support from, yeah. from the council. They so need to work with us, just like they expect us to pay their, their, their rates. So do you think more pedestrian movement on the street would help you? Definitely. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, I don't know if anybody's ever discussed pedestrianising the street, but that was one idea that we've always thought of. Yeah. And it would be great with the i360 coming yeah. on as well. Yeah. So you feel the i360 would be really helpful? Oh yeah, definitely. If once yeah. it starts, once the work starts, I think people would be so excited and they will, yeah. they will start coming around this area. Something, something uh, is missing in Preston Street. We yeah. lost it. You know, we lost what we used to be, and really now to regain it with mixed use, with mixed um, businesses. But something has to be done. The council has to help us.